Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, yeah, it's good. I knew these cameras were good for something. Yeah, no, no, go again. A little closer. Five feet in front and five feet back. Nope. Come on, buddy. Make your first one count. There it is. Move it, move it. Slow, move it. Now slow it down. Just barely, I'm talking about like you're almost letting it sink. Yeah. yeah. Barely, barely moving it. Keep going. Keep going. Slow. Slow. Really slow. Really slow. Keep moving it. Keep going. Got to pull. Let him go. Let him go. Nice job. Hit him one more time. Woo! Hit him one more time with the rod. Big fish, dude. Big fish. Yeah, baby! Woo! Let go! Uh, I'm gonna get on the motor. Good job, baby. Good job. All right. Jerry, take us. Yep. Good job, buddy. Nice job. Big fish. Big fish. Keep going slow. Here he comes. Keep going. Keep going slow. Keep going. Got him. Pull. Let him go. Nasty. Nasty, buddy. Nice job. Sick. Yeah. Jeez, that's insane. That <laughs> my God, this thing. Oh, my God. God, pull. Yeah, baby. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, no, 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 No place in the world boasts a greater concentration of giant tarpon than the Florida Keys during the spring migration. During the months of April, May, and June, seemingly endless strings of tarpon migrate from the Gulf of Mexico through the Florida Keys and on into the Atlantic, making the Keys one of the world's great saltwater fishing destinations. Born and raised in South Africa and now a resident of New York City, fly angler Brent Flack Davidson was one of Jared's very first clients when he began his guiding career. And like clockwork, Brent has returned every year since. Just about this time, the time when the giants begin to arrive. Just easing our way in there, and there ain't no hurry. Kind of ease your way. All right, buddy. First shot count, right? You go way up and 10 feet in front of them, a couple feet past. That'll work. Try it slowly. Oops, sorry, move it. Too far, right? Yeah, too far. Yeah. Bring it in, do go again. But not spooked. Yeah, no, no, go again. A little closer, five feet in front of him, five feet back. Nope, come on buddy, make your first one count. There it is, move it, move it. Slow, move it, now slow down. Just barely, I'm talking about like you're almost letting it sink. Yeah. yeah. Barely, barely moving it. Keep going, keep going. Slow, slow, really slow, really slow. Keep moving it, keep going, got full. Let him go, let him go. Nice job, hit him one more time. Woo! Hit him one more time with the rod. Good fish, dude. Big fish. Yeah, baby! Woo! Oh. Let's go! Uh, I'm gonna get on the motor. Oh. Good job, baby! Good job. All right. Jerry, just take us. Yep. Good job, bud. Thank you, man. Nice job, big fish. Woo, baby! Solid. All right, a little slower, a little slower. A little slower. There he is. I see him. He's all the way up in front of us, dead 12. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats. Fish the legend. Yamaha. Reliability starts here. By Sea Deck Marine Products. Your boat deserves sea deck. 
and by Able Reels, crafted for chaos. Oh boy, he's going, huh? Yeah. All right, let's get up there again. Hopefully this ties him out. He's cruising. He's still running, huh? Still running. He's still running. Still taking line. Okay, he's changing direction, Jared. Put your right tip in the water, right tip in the water. Right tip in the water. Okay. There you go. So he changed direction on me. Yeah, he changed direction, he's not happy, that's why. All right, these jet skiers are gonna be a problem here. Hey guys, that way, go that way. You know, guiding over the last 10 years, I see all a variety of uh, different anglers from different parts of the country. Um, anglers come and go. Sometimes they get into it for a couple of years and then they're out of it. And this one, right, you know, right, moves moves good. away or whatever. And in this case, I've been fishing Brent since I was 21 okay. years old. Something that always yeah, sticks out uh, about Brent is not just the, the kind human he is, but uh, the angler he is. Doing awesome, uh, man. Just, just off the charts angler. This guy can fish, man. That's a big fish. There ain't no doubt about that. It's a big fish. The one thing I, I have a feeling this fish is gonna do to us, it gets us into a channel, and we're gonna be playing tug of war. I think the fly's ran the right hand side of his mouth. I don't know, I'm not positive. I thought I saw, here he goes, coming up a little bit. Coming up, coming up, pull hard, pull hard, and down the back, down the back, pull hard. All right, you haven't been here in two years, but I bet you it feels like, it's just like natural again. <laughs> oh, it man. all came back natural. Couple shots, boom. My name is Brent Fleck Davison. I uh, lived in New York City for the last 11 years. Uh, I was born and raised in South Africa, Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, my dad, my dad's a big fly fisherman. I didn't really have a choice growing up. It was either fly fish and spend time with dad or, you know, or stay at home. You know, we would get, you know, magazines, fly fishing salt water, you know, lefty cray books and just really see these incredible, you know, Florida Keys fishing and tarpon and bonefish and permit. And, I mean, it was just, it was, it was incredible to see, right? And, and in some way it just felt like unobtainable. Like it was, just because it was, it was, it was not something we had in South Africa. And she's doing like, you know, that big fish fight. You know, sometimes you get those like 70, 80 pounders, you know, the teenager, they're, they're, they have a little spunk to them. This fish is, uh, just, yeah, big steady rolls. I mean, look at the tail, look at the motor on that thing. She's, she, good, we're gonna be here for a little while. When you hook into a fish uh, of this, the caliber of the, you know, that this fish is at, you know, we're talking about, you know, not 100 pounds. I'm talking about, could have been 150, it could have been 170, I don't know. I mean, it just, at that point, you just don't know. This isn't their first rodeo. This isn't their first time doing this. And the fascinating thing about a tarpon is that it, it's, it's capability of coming up and not just breathing, you know, the oxygen in the water, the oxygen, you know, that we breathe. And with that happening, it helps the fish rejuvenate, you know, and, and get strength to, you know, last a super length of time of, of a fight. And it just keeps them fresh and keeps them going. And so this fish, I mean, this fish, he, he knew what he was doing. He got in that cooler water, you know, from where we hooked him to the, the deeper water. I'm about to take a nap. Six, six degree temperature change, you know, more big, hard rising current going into his gills, help feeding him and it just kept coming up and rolling. It kept up and rolling. And at no point did I ever think that we were actually doing anything to it. Come on, baby! <laughs> you know, it's funny, it's like, I'm sure right now you're thinking about how, you know, what you need to do to fight this fish and, you know, hopefully we can get our hands on it and uh, I should be right there with you with the same mindset, but all I can think about is where we're going for lunch. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Except because I'm getting tired and hungry watching you do this. So, but I know a couple good places. I always got them on lock, good lunch spots. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the what, last thing we want to do is go have her go rip through the pilings, freak out, you know. Right. This is a, this is a pretty legit fish and we need to we need to try to get our hands on her. I can't say, not too much. Is she through or what? She's running, so something's. Yeah, she's through, huh? Put your rod up. Hold it there for a minute, hold it there for a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
on, hold on one second. Let me reposition. Just back off. Hold on. Of course, back off. Silver Kings is brought to you by the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. Sweetwater Brewing Company, where there's water, there's sweet water. Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Isla Morada, the sport fishing capital of the world. And by Patagonia, fly fishing apparel and gear. Tight. Hold tight. Got it. Got it? When the, when the tarpon go heads to a bridge, I mean, that doesn't mean the, the game's over. It, sometimes it's just adding some more obstacles in the way. And I've done this. I've, I've, I've experienced this Don't tell me uh, she did it again. two dozen times in my career with fish around the size. She did it again, and huh? every bridge is a little different, but no. you know, no. you, could, you, could, you could work around it. And there's numerous ways of working around it. And in this particular case, we found a way to work around it for a little while. I hate to tell you, but we're not done with the bridges. We're just getting started. We get, the, we get through this, we're just passing the rods, we get the rod through it, and we get past the bridge. And sure enough, we think we're in the free. Well, and he just does another back. turn, he goes right back Coming to the up. same bridge. God, look at the size of that fish, man. She knows. She, knows. she does know. She knows the whole time, man. She knows yeah, what's going swing. on. Let her do her thing. Here, hold on. Please don't tell me she's going through. Yeah, she, she did. Threw, she, threw. she did. Okay. Here we go again, buddy. Okay. The fish takes off and you're just like, you know, what am I what am I doing, right? Like this is the hugest fish. I'm fishing with you know a fly rod. Uh, you know, it's a it's a it's a it's a crazy dream, right? Being able to land top on a on a fly. It's so it's so hard to get them to eat. You know, there's the wind's blowing, the boat's moving, you have to see them, you have to cast to them, you have to get them to eat. Like, and then it only starts then. Keep going. One more. Got it. Okay. Now I don't know what's going on here. That's a full fly line. Okay, she's back this way. She's back this way. All right, let's try to, hey, just don't put any pressure on her. Let's see where she swims. Oh, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Hey. <laughs> we knew that was gonna be a, it's gonna be one of those battles, man. <laughs> oh, good awesome, try, buddy. man, good try. awesome. Love it, love it, that was great. You know, sure enough, what do we go do? We we go back and, you know, get on another spot and boom, within minutes we hook up watch and, your, and watch your line, here watch we your go again. Here we go again. Good job, dude. Good job, buddy. Woo! Hey. <laughs> All right, get on that bell. Get that bucket. Good job, dude. That was awesome. Good job, buddy. That thing raced to eat it. A little slow, a little slow, a little slow. Good, okay. You know, Florida and all the tarpon areas had a history of catching tarpon and bringing, bringing them to the dock. And we calculated at some point there were three to 5,000 tarpon a year killed in Florida and the Gulf Coast up around Texas and Louisiana and places like that. So people would bring them in and they would achieve a charter advertisement. So we said, we got to quit that. We got to quit that. We changed the laws in the state of Florida. Um, uh, and this has been almost 30 years ago. So there's probably a quarter of a million tarpon swimming around out there. And they've gotten bigger. I think, I think tarpon have gotten a little bigger, the average tarpon down there. Oh, God, he's so, so strong. Come on, baby. I know you're pulling hard. I can see it. 
What a beautiful day we have. God, look at this day. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, baby. Keep on. Yeah. Sweet. This thing's owning you. I'm getting school. Oh, nice. Nice. Pull, pull, pull. Okay. I'll go, I'll go for it. Silver Kings is brought to you by Smith. The experience is everything. The Islander Resort, Island Morada's luxury oceanside experience. Thomas and Thomas handcrafted fly rods. That's a bite. Florida Marine Tracks, clarity in navigation. And by Angler House Marina and Grand Slam Flies. And now, a minute from our conservation partner, the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. I'm Jennifer Rehage, professor at Florida International University and VTT Research Associate. In my research team, we study threats to the bonefish flats fishery. Today, about 40% of the world's population lives on the coast, which means our coastal fisheries are increasingly facing threats associated with high densities of people. This includes contaminants coming in from land, from agriculture, from industry, and from urban centers that can make their way to our coasts. One of the contaminants of concern today are pharmaceuticals. These are the prescription medications we take every day to keep ourselves healthy, antibiotics, antidepressants, hormones, pain relievers, and which are not treated by conventional water treatment, which, which means these pharmaceuticals stay in our waters and are constantly present. They can remain in the water as long as there's leaching from effluent water, and they are not regulated. We currently don't have standards for what levels are safe. In essence, we are medicating our environment with a very limited understanding of what are the impacts for our fisheries. Studies, however, tell us that the effects can be significant. For instance, work done on fish exposed to antidepressants shows that their brain chemistry is altered which affects their behavior, their foraging, their activity, their migration, and very likely the way they interact with us as anglers. So in our ongoing study, we're examining whether pharmaceuticals are a concern for South Florida bonefish and bonefish in the Caribbean. Our goal is to rule them in or out as a risk factor and to turn what we learned into solutions to keep the fisheries healthy. To learn more, visit btt.org. Pull left. There you go, right there. You, you get a pull every time you do it, yeah. Right there, pull it perfect. You had to hook this one. You had to do that. Battle wounds. It's the least of my worries right now. There we go, there we go. It's one of the most tougher tar tar tarpons you've ever caught. Yeah, right there, keep pulling. Keep pulling that. Reel down. Do it again, low left. Side down, buddy. Reel down. Do it again. And walk down back behind me, keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep going, just like that. Keep pulling, pull, 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 pull. Reel down. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, pull, pull. Keep going. Back to the left if you can. Reel down if you can. Anything you can do. Oh, this is going there. Hold on. Hold on. He's off. I'm sorry. No, nothing was going under, man. She wasn't having it. 
That's how tarpon fishing goes, huh? Two giants, and we lose them both. So we come back, man. Good Thank job. You, Good work, bro. Good work. Today is exactly that's tarpon fishing. I mean, that's what tarpon fishing is. It's so unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen. You know, it always keep you know it always keeps you on your toes, and every fight's different. But at the end, it, you know, it keeps you wanting to come back for more.